in addition to that realization that men are the biggest threat to children and women, I start. I hear you, beautiful sister. What this woman is saying, she basically said that she was severely unhappy in her marriage. And she realized that the only time that she was happy was when her husband was away. So when trying to find answers for herself, she sought guidance. She found a woman who explained some things to her that resonated with her. And she ended up leaving her husband and creating a wonderful life for herself. In this um, process, she ended up deciding that men were like the enemy that men were the cause of the problems of our society, at least the cause of the problems for children and for women. Like she said, they were evil. And I think that's where she kind of got confused. We always are trying to attribute our unhappiness to, st to, be to someone else's behavior when our unhappiness is totally dependent on us. I used to be a person who thought that all men were evil, all men are bad. I still haven't met an amazing man yet, so I can't say that, you know, there's somebody that totally changed my mind. That didn't happen. What changed my mind was me. What changed my mind was meeting men and understanding that our problem with men has nothing to do with men. It has everything to do with the patriarchy and how they teach, uh, how that system teaches us that these men are supposed to be like gods, like deities, like heroes coming in on a horse to rescue us and save us, never make a mistake, never have a problem, strong, never be emotional. They, it, it brainwashes all of us into thinking that that's what men are supposed to be. And when a man does not show up like that, all of a sudden he's weak. Something's wrong with him. He's evil. No, we've been brainwashed to believe that men are not humans. They're human just like us. They have emotions. They can be frail. They have a learning curve. They have they ha they have they need to have the time to be loved and to be nurtured, and they need to be themselves outside of our gender roles that we're prescribing to them. The society is the problem. The toxic society is the problem. It's not the men. The men are not evil. The men are victims too. <laughs>